Welcome back. Mark Bertoli joining us from Abbott Wealth Management. After a little break in the sunshine, you have a beautiful tan. I was doing Southern California market research. Well, I like your style. <laughs> Why not do it in the sunshine? Welcome back. Yeah. We're talking today a little bit about market volatility, Mark, because yesterday was a bit of a dumper on the market. Yeah, I, the TSX in Canada here was down about 200 points. And in, in the U.S., it was down about 300 points. And How many you, days of the month would you say you see that? Uh, you know, it, it all depends. It all it depends does. the time of year, the news that's coming out. Uh, markets react instantly to news. Uh, you know, and I, I brought up a, a chart of the of the TSX Composite Index here uh, over the last year, and what that shows, you know, we've been from 2009 till now on a relatively uh, straight trajectory without a lot of volatility. But when you look at the last year, as of March 11th. Um, you can see there's been a lot of ups and downs in the markets. Mm -hmm. so, when is that super low point? Um, I think that was right around January, okay. January 1st, somewhere around there. This is when the oil was dropping and everything else. So, mm -hmm. But I really just wanted to use that chart to show you the actual path of the market, and then maybe we can talk about that a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about the path of the market. I mean, overall, looking at this graph off screen here, I can see that in the course of a year, things have ended on a higher note than they were when they started. There right, go. right. Higher than back in uh, this right. time last year. Right, absolutely. That's so, good news. So it is. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll go back to yesterday for a second. Yeah. Yesterday, the markets reacted um, because the U.S. Federal Reserve was talking, or there's people worried that the Federal Reserve is going to start to raise interest rates in the U.S., Sometimes you got to step back from the news a little bit and not react. The reason they're going to think about raising the interest rates is because the economy is doing so well. We want the economy to do well. That's right. Right? So um, low interest rates is a form of stimulus to the economy. The U.S. Federal Reserve feels that the economy is doing so well that they can take some of that stimulus away. There's more people working in the United States right now than there ever has been in history. So, you know, it was a negative, negative day, but on really, really good news. So you, you really have to watch out uh, how you take that news in the short term. When you see the markets do this one day uh, fall like they did yesterday, do you take a lot of phone calls from people? N not really. We, we tend to... Uh, have a, a disciplined group that we work with and, and they know who we are and, and, and how we think about investing money. So. so your message today is don't let the media influence you. Well, look, look, look beyond what the headline is or why did the market go down? The market went down because the U.S. economy is doing so well. It's an interesting uh, combination of things, right? Right, right. Big so. picture is always the best thing, I find, as well, looking at things from a year-to-year -year basis rather than a one-day move. Absolutely. Right, that's another yeah. key. Uh, ask Abbott Wealth. Uh, we do have a couple of questions. The goal of this segment is to help. So, uh, number one, Mark, what do I do in volatile times, and what is my or your investment discipline? Right. So you and I have discussed many times that we want to give advice that helps people succeed in their investments and their retirement and so on. So here's one thing that I thought was, was uh, what do I do in volatile times? Well, it all comes back to your discipline. It comes back, do you know your investment discipline? Do you know um, how your advisor invests your money? I find it very funny that you see business people who maybe have uh, made their career owning a business and watching a specific business very carefully, and then when they retire, they take their money and invest it in 400 companies that they know nothing about, mm. right? They made that money based on, on good business decisions, and investing money should be no different than that. Uh, your advisor should be able to help you understand what you own. You should have a discipline about how you invest the money. And a lot of people think that they don't have the right to understand what their advisor's doing. You absolutely have the right. You, you should understand exactly how they're gonna react because they're managing your money. You should also understand the companies that you own and why you own those companies. So in volatile times like this where the market in the U.S. dropped 300 points yesterday because U.S. companies were doing well, I have no problem sitting with our clients and discussing the earnings of those companies and why they own those companies. So 
investing is not gambling. Investing should be solid business decisions, no differently than running a company. Knowledge is power, and if you understand why the market's reacting, you're going to feel more in control, allaying your fears and making you do something irrational. Absolutely. Uh, no question's a bad question, and Mark knows, because I've asked him a few questions over the years about my investments that haven't been the smartest, but better to ask and then you understand a little bit better. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Mark Bertoli, well said. I appreciate you being here today. Uh, if you have any questions for Abbott Wealth Financial, information is on the screen, website, email address, and phone number. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.